recently featured on this season, The Shy. Take a look at it. That's Andromeda Cook right there. For fans of the show, this was the We Are All We Need episode of this season, and greatness runs in the family. As her sister Mercedes serves as the show's costume designer, so they're together doing big things. Andromeda Cook joins us now from the historic Rittenhouse town where her artwork is on display. Good morning. Thanks for starting your morning with us. Good morning. That's got to be cool. Let's start with the shy, because when your work is, is um, shown on such an impactful, popular show, that had to have an impact, right? How'd that happen? How did it happen? So um, my sister, she's just, she's been my biggest fan. She's been pushing me to pursue my passion full time. So I've been pursuing my passion full time for almost two years now. Um, I gave up my career as a full time art teacher and just decided to take a leap of faith as a single mom to pursue my passion full time. And yeah, Mercedes, she's just been following me, supporting me along the way. Um, and she was reading the script to season five and she stumbled across um, a part in the script where there's an artist and she talked to Lena Way and she said, Lena, this is my sister in the script. I love that. <laughs> you gotta meet her, you gotta you gotta put her in the show, and that's what happened. I love so that. Here I, am. I love that. Looking out for us and pull somebody along with you. That's what we're supposed to do. <laughs> now what has the response been like? I'd imagine people see your work and, and you get a lot of feedback. Um, the response has been amazing. It's been awesome. Um, after I, I was um, aired on the show, um, I had my first solo art exhibition, and that's where we are right now. So I have all of my art on display, and um, yeah, I just I had two solo art exhibitions. Um, I've been just going, just working on a lot of different events, basically. Wow. Wow, your art's beautiful, but I gotta get over there and check that out. I'm seeing some of the pieces that they move around going, oh, I know who would really love that. Uh, now, you're self-taught, right? That's how you got into this? I am. I am. I'm self-taught. Like I said, I was a, I was an art teacher at Edward T. Still in elementary school, and I was teaching kindergarten through eighth grade for three years. And with me studying art while I was teaching it, it kind of like reignited my passion for art. And yeah, um, Basquiat just spoke out to me and Basquiat inspired my art I immensely. Love, you can see. <laughs> you can see, I love the kind of message art. I'm reading some of the things in, uh, in your artwork. You mentioned Basquiat, uh, that's your significant influence. Are there others who also influenced you? Oh yes, yes, for sure. Um, Pablo Picasso, of okay. course. Um, <laughs> Frida, <laughs> just a lot of the greats, but mainly, mainly Picasso and, and Basquiat, but Basquiat is my number one. All right, so you just made me feel like I can't afford your art. Now, how can people, <laughs> how can people find out more about your work, uh, try to see if we can get some of your pieces? Do you do custom pieces? I do. Um, my art is affordable, um, and then I have pricey pieces as well. This right here is, this is a part of my 10K collection. So this goes for 10K. Okay. Um, this is a reasonably priced print. So a frame print is for $80 on my website. Um, my website is andromedacookstudio.com. Um, I do do custom pieces. I also make jewelry. Okay. So um, I sell bracelets. These are my favorites. I love crystal bracelets, as you can see. <laughs> They're Listen. on me as well. I was not trying to talk you down. Know your worth and get your worth. Your artwork is beautiful. <laughs> I thank you for it. I wish you continued success. I will be able to see you soon. Okay, thank right. you. You have a good one. Now, we don't have to talk layaway or something. I'm